Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to move your WhatsApp business from the Android to an iPhone. But please, watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm going to give you. Let's check this WhatsApp business. I only have two chats with little stuff here. And also here, as you know, the advantage of having WhatsApp business is that you can have auto replies, business profile, you can have products, and you can have like a shopping cart where people can add products to your shopping cart and send you a message. So our goal today is to move these two chats from Android to the iPhone. So if you have a lot of products and you want to move your WhatsApp business from the Android to the iPhone, if you want to do it for free, you're going to lose these products. My recommendation is to save all this data on a spreadsheet or an Word document, wherever you want to save it. It's better to link a computer to this WhatsApp business. So I'm going to show you how to link this WhatsApp business to the computer. All you have to do is you're going to go to web.whatsapp.com. You're going to find a QR code. You're going to click on the three dots click link devices. I already have this device link. I'm going to add another one. Okay. And I'm just going to scan this QR code. You see that automatically it says loading chats. Okay. So here I'm going to have all the chats from my WhatsApp business account. And you can see that I have the pictures and I have all the information that is here, right? So why do I want to do this? I want you to go to uh, your profile, view and edit catalogs, and I want you to save all this information. So you can copy here all the information that you want to save. You can also save the pictures, you know, save image as. In that way, you're not going to have to type all of this again. You're going to have it on a spreadsheet, Word document, on your text edit file, whatever you want to copy and paste this information so you don't have to type it again, right? Once that you have all of this information saved on your computer, in this free transfer, we're going to lose all of the catalogs. We're going to do this. We're going to switch from WhatsApp business to regular WhatsApp. How can we do that? First, let me do a chat backup. Okay, you're going to go to the three dots. You're going to go to settings. Click on chats. Chat backup. And here, make sure you include the videos. Make sure you select an email account. In this case, I'm going to select this one. So AmigoAlex4 at gmail.com. So you select the email here. You're going to select backup to Google Drive only when I tap backup. So now that I have all these settings, I'm going to do a backup. As you can see, my backup is going to be only 1.6 megabytes. Yours is going to be probably gigs of data. Before doing this backup, try to delete all the stuff that you don't need, guys. All these messages, audios, and videos on groups that you don't even watch, you know, try to delete that so you can make your backup slimmer, all right? So now that I have my backup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the regular WhatsApp, okay? I'm going to download regular WhatsApp, and I'm going to put the number I use for my business account, I'm going to put it here, 954-715-1929, okay? I'm going to click Next. So WhatsApp knows that you are switching from business to regular WhatsApp. Switching to WhatsApp Messenger will delete all of your business information. Only your messages and media will move. You will permanently lose your catalogs and items, gradings and away messages and labels. By switching, you confirm you approve deletion of your information. So I'm going to switch, guys. I'm switching. I'm switching from business to regular WhatsApp. Okay, now, so WhatsApp sent a code to that phone number. I have the SIM card here on this other phone. So I'm just gonna open that to get the verification code, okay? And that code is 826-1A9. Continue, allowed, allowed. So I'm gonna restore it. I'm gonna click next. And that's my profile. And these are the chats that I used to have, right? Look, everything is, is the same. Okay, everything is the same. But this is a regular WhatsApp. This is not the business account. Let me try to open WhatsApp business. Your phone number is not longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone, okay? So just leave it like that. You can close it. And now that we have regular WhatsApp with all the chats from the business WhatsApp, we're going to do a regular transfer. How can we transfer WhatsApp chats from Android to iPhone? We're going to download an app called Move to iOS. This app is free and it's official from Apple. Okay. So this is the best app to do this transfer. Apple privacy policy agree. And it says move to iOS. I'm going to move to this iPhone 6S Plus. 
in order for this app to work, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to factory reset my iPhone. If you already have data on your iPhone, I recommend you to do a backup, a full backup, so you don't lose anything. And then you're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go general, transfer or reset iPhone, erase all contents and settings. It says erase this iPhone, continue. It's uploading data to iCloud. I just need my password so I can factory reset this iPhone. Erase iPhone. So the iPhone is gonna factory reset. And then let's continue here on the Move to iOS app. Click continue, agree, don't send. It says local permission to require. And I'm gonna put while using the app. Settings, I need to turn on location. It says device location require, continue. Find your code. If you don't see a code on your iOS device, make sure you are on the iOS setup assistant. That's why we need to factory reset the iPhone because the setup assistant only appears when you are configuring your iPhone for the first time. So I'm gonna click continue and now it says enter one time code. This code, again, I'm gonna find it on the iPhone once it finished to factory reset. And then we're gonna get that code. We're gonna put it here and both devices are gonna connect. Let me tell you how this connection happens. Basically, the iPhone is gonna create a hotspot where the Android is gonna connect and they're gonna transfer the information. And hopefully we're gonna be able to transfer all the chats that we have on the WhatsApp business to the iPhone. Okay, so the iPhone finished factory resetting. We're gonna configure it really quick. We need to connect to our Wi-Fi. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Okay, so date and privacy, click continue. Touch ID, later, don't use. Passcode, don't use passcode. This is the screen that we need, apps and data. Here we're gonna select move data from Android. Move from Android, continue. And this is the code that we need to put here, 481149. And finally, guys, I don't know what happened, but it works. Okay, so from all of this stuff, I want you to select contacts, allowed, and I want you to select WhatsApp, okay? And here it is, guys, move chats to iOS. Finally, move chats to iOS. We're gonna click start, almost done, continue, and now it's transferring from, look at this, transfer complete, because it was almost nothing, right? So done. And it's going to say continue setting up iPhone. Now, if you want to open the WhatsApp business here, it's going to say that we move it. Your phone number is no longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone because we are moving here. Continue set up iPhone. We need to sign in to our Apple ID. A lot of people are going to ask me this, where the SIM card is going to have to go. The SIM card is in this Android phone because we were using WhatsApp business on Android, right? We need to move it to the iPhone now so we can get any verification codes to the iPhone, okay? But in my case, I'm using Google Voice, so I have the number, I have it on another phone. So I'm gonna get the verification code here, but that's later. Now I just want to log in to my Apple ID. Apple send the two-factor authentication. The code is 311147. Okay, agree. Okay, I'm gonna click continue, set up later. Welcome to iPhone. All right, now here, guys, what I have to do is I have to download regular WhatsApp because the Move to iOS app only works with regular WhatsApp. Okay, so we're gonna open, agree and continue, allow, and the phone number 954-715-1929, okay? And here it is, guys, move chats from Android. This is what we wanted, move chats from Android. Move to iOS only works from regular WhatsApp to regular WhatsApp. Start, start, uh, access to all photos, moving chat from Android, chat history move to iPhone. This is what you want to see, guys. Chat history move to iPhone. Next. And I'm going to put up here PK. And it says, WhatsApp would like to access your contacts. This is going to change from numbers to names because WhatsApp is going to access our contacts. Right there. Boom. Okay. So when I open this, I have my chats. When I open here, I do have everything that I had before. So this was beautiful, guys. Now that we have regular WhatsApp, I'm just gonna do a backup, include videos, backup. And then what I'm gonna do, guys, we're gonna download WhatsApp Business now. Okay, WhatsApp Business, we're gonna open it, agree and continue. WhatsApp Business would like to send notifications allowed. WhatsApp Business recognized the phone we're using on the regular WhatsApp and is asking us, use this phone number for WhatsApp Business? Yes, we're gonna use it. PK Business, 
we're gonna put shopping and retail computer store next okay now i want to know if we have the chats and we still have the chats guys beautifully done beautifully done we have all the chats pictures and videos yeah exactly okay <laughs> I'm happy because this is the first time I'm doing this. So now we have WhatsApp business on the iPhone. We started with WhatsApp business on the Android. Now we have WhatsApp business on the iPhone. What happened with the regular WhatsApp? It's going to be disconnected. Your phone number is no longer registered with this app. This might be because you registered this phone number with WhatsApp business instead. Okay, and now start using WhatsApp business. This is the final part. You're still going to go to web.whatsapp.com. You're going to go to link devices, link a device, access to camera. And then you're going to scan this code. Okay, now it's going to load the chats from the iPhone. And here you have your chats, guys. Here you have your chats. Everything is working. And now you can go to your store. Here you're going to add the products depending on where did you save the products initially. Remember at the beginning of the video, I asked you to save all the information of the products on a spreadsheet, Word document, edit text, notepad, whatever you want to put it. You copy and paste it. So now you're going to just select and paste all the information that you have on that spreadsheet, right? Now, this is good if you have a limited amount of items, right? If you're a big business with a lot of products, I would just recommend you to buy a software because if you buy a software, you're going to be able to do the transfer directly. You don't need to do all those tricks that I did. But if you're a small business and you don't want to spend money, you can do this way and it's going to work, you know? All right, guys, if you want to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.